So they're giving uh, XRP some predictions that I want to talk about, guys, in this video. Some popular analysts out there talking about the price of XRP, where we could go even amid the lawsuit that's ongoing with the SEC. Uh, the general kind of consensus here, XRP could potentially be going to 4 to $6. If you go back to 2021, right, despite the big lawsuit they were in, we still saw XRP get to $2 on most exchanges. Now, what's different this go around is XRP is actually listed back on these exchanges. So like people can actually purchase it in the United States. Remember for a while, you couldn't even buy XRP in the United States. Uh, actually, like one of my most popular videos on YouTube is how to buy XRP in the United States when you literally couldn't get it aside from a couple places like Uphold. But now it's back. Now it's back on Coinbase. It's back on some of the top tier exchanges. And this has people thinking, yes, the SEC did their thing. They appealed the process. We're not totally out of the woods yet. However, it doesn't mean the price of XRP is going to be stuck here forever. Uh, even though we dropped down to 51 cents after the SEC appeal, we're still holding the line. And you guys know that I've been opening up some positions on Margex trading XRP in the short term. I like to trade XRP. I've got a long-term position, but I actually really like to trade it. Why? It's super, super low risk with way, way more upside than most cryptos. It doesn't fluctuate a ton, right? You're not going to get liquidated on your leverage trades as much as you would with the volatility of, you know, let's say Solana or something like that, that just moves a lot more. And there's always great upside with news. And we have some things coming up here as we get ready for the Ripple Swell event, uh, which is their annual thing. We're probably going to hear some things on XRP ETFs. We're going to hear some things on uh, XRP and, and Ripple versus the SEC and setting a precedent that's positive for crypto. We're probably going to be hearing things about Ripple's stablecoin that they're launching soon. Uh, that could compete with USDT. Uh, so we'll take you inside here real quick because there were some key notes here in this article. If you guys haven't hit that like button for us, definitely do that. Subscribe down there if you haven't already. Uh, definitely helps us out. It's totally free to do that too if you want to give back to the channel. But on Thursday, the U.S. SEC signaled it would appeal favorable rulings in the Ripple lawsuit. By Friday, they went through with that move, submitting official applications to the U.S. appellate court. Uh, again, that official application was sent in. The initial notification on Thursday obviously tanked the price of XRP in the short term. There was a massive sell-off that occurred when the SEC originally filed the lawsuit way back in December 2020. However, the latest price drop in XRP has been way less severe. So you have a lot more people holding the line uh, now than let's say back in 2020 because there's more clarity. Remember, Ripple's already won a massive portion of this lawsuit. And that is that XRP is not a security. This is about the programmatic sales, right? The institutional side of things is what's still in question. But for retail, I mean, the gates are wide open, right? You could trade it. Uh, it is, it's not deemed a security on, on these exchanges. That opens the door, I think, in this bull run for XRP to do way better than it did back in 2021. And that's why people have these price targets of 4 to $6, uh, because right now we're sitting at $0.53. Cents. As you guys can see, we had the big sell-off here late September. September 30th, we started tumbling down from $0.65. Cents, wicked all the way down to 51 actually just below it but we were able to close it a little over 52 cents. Since that time frame, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven 10, 11 days of consolidation or sideways action. Why is this important? This is important because buyers and sellers have met in the middle here and we're just waiting, I think, for the next big breakout. We have a lot of support here down at 50 cents. This is why I'm going long on XRP. And I'm going to show you guys right here. I'm not bullshitting it, right? I've got a ton of open positions here with XRP. Got an 18X leverage position for 100 bucks. Got a $400 18X leverage position. Got another $108 20X leverage position. Another $306 5X leverage position. So we're betting big on XRP. If you guys want to join us over here on Margex, there's no KYC. I just think we're at least going to get back up to that 65, 66 cents. And if we do, I'll gladly say take some profits off the table again, because that is where we have some resistance, uh, at least, you know, local resistance dating back to uh, mid-July, right? But 
if we go back down here to these price targets, and I just want to you know end the video with with some of this analysis because I thought it was interesting. They're basically talking about the resilience that XRP has shown from a price standpoint, right? It, this could have very easily tumbled back down to like thirty eight cents. We were there. I mean, it, it could have happened, but these bulls have have they've come in at fifty cents time and time and time again and and drive the price back off that level. And this is why, again, you have a lot of data on this over time. I feel comfortable taking my trades here, okay, taking my positions, opening things up at around 51 cents, 52 cents. And I won't get liquidated in, unless XRP were to really tank down to like 45, 44 cents. That to me is a really good bet. And again, I'll remind you guys, we have the Ripple Swell event coming. We have a lot of chatter with XRP ETFs. We have a lot of positive catalysts. Yes, we have one negative one. The fact that the SEC is not, you know, completely giving Ripple the green light from the institutional side. But again, on that front, all the experts think the SEC is going to lose. Uh, very, very few people think the SEC has a chance in this case. So if we factor all that in and we take a look at some of this analysis, you know, people suggesting XRP could rise to four to six dollars, you know, within this bull cycle. I don't think it's out of the realm of possibilities at all. Uh, keep in mind, we hit a low of 17 cents back in December 2020, and then XRP rallied by over a thousand percent to two dollars by April 2021. And now we're sitting here at 50 cents. Who's to say that we couldn't rally to four dollars this go around or five dollars? I think that's a perfect estimate here, uh, given what happened last cycle. And we have more clarity, more positive news about XRP. All right, guys, that's what I got for you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below. Drop your X's in the chat. Let me know you guys are here. And um, we'll be watching the Ripple Swell event. There's going to be a ton of stuff coming out with XRP. This is, this is one of those channels that you can count on us. We're going to be here every single day breaking things down for you. So make sure you guys subscribe. And check out Margex if you want to trade with me over there. And I've got my trading indicator too, XT Algo. If you guys want to really take trading seriously, I've got monthly, quarterly, and yearly options. This monthly option is slashed by 21%. So it's $37 a month, a little over a dollar a day. And then you could get a three month package for under a hundred bucks. Uh, think about this, guys. You, we waste money on stupid things all the time. This can actually help you make money, right? You're investing in yourself when you take a chance with XT Algo. We have a 30 day money back guarantee. So if you don't like the product after 30 days, no problem. My team will give you a full refund, no questions asked, and onward you go. But I think you guys will love it. You can set up your own customized alerts. It's a great tool that can definitely help you make money in this market. So check that out. Links down below. Appreciate you guys for watching. Peace.